So what about day-to-day -day life as a spouse? Day-to-day, yeah. -day, um, it really depends. I think, you know, at, when we've had these big moments in our vet's journey, like the diagnosis, like when we found out our child, you know, had some issues going on um, related or, or Mike having the dissection, um, those moments are heightened and you're, at least for me, I felt super grateful to have any time with them and, and just really hyper aware of the gift of their presence. And, but I'm not going to lie, you know, as things get back to normal, sometimes it's easy to lose that perspective. So I constantly try to just remind myself every morning, how grateful I am that they're with me and that every day is a gift and, and not to throw that away. And I think, you know, I also want to reassure people. I know we have a lot of new people in our beds community and it can be scary those early days, especially, you know, I really wanted to put my child in a bubble. <laughs> he was two when he was diagnosed. And um, we had to have a lot of hard conversations with our medical team, which I would encourage everyone to, to get expert input. Um, and then to really talk to your family and make the right decision for your unique situation. For us, you know, we have the null and um, mutation. So that is different. And we still don't know a lot about what that means. We've lost a lot of lives in our family to VED. So it's still very serious and very severe. Um, but in our case, um, we've chosen to try to let our kiddo have as normal a life as possible. So right now, you know, he's a little guy, he plays sports and we don't let him do anything crazy, you know, hits or, or anything that would be um, putting him at major risk. But we try to let him live a really normal life. And same thing for my husband, you know, he doesn't run marathons anymore. We actually used to run them. <laughs> um, he had a totally normal childhood because he was diagnosed in his forties. Um, so life, you know, most days looks fairly normal. And I want to assure people that that can be, it's, it's not every day and it's no guarantee, but most days feel really normal. And um, but we've got the plan in the background and we've got our medical bracelets and we know what to do. And I think that's the key. And then the other thing is just being grateful every day, really trying to, trying to keep in mind that I think in some ways vets has been a gift to our family because it's made us hyper aware that that time is really precious. Mm -hmm.